How you doing? This is Maxwell Carlisle. Today I'm going to look at the BC Rich Ironbird. Uh, they've got a couple of new models that came out I think in the past couple of years. They've got the uh, Ironbird 1, which is this one. This is a, a hardtail. It's a string through. And then they also have another one, which comes in a pearl white, which is called a limited edition one. And it's got a big uh, fretboard inlay. It's like a lightning bolt inlay that goes all the way down the fretboard. And then it's got a tremolo on it. Um, so they've been making iron birds for a long, long time. Uh, those are the two that they have in production now, though obviously there's a lot of older ones that are from the 80s and stuff, and those are pretty badass too. So anyway, this one, uh, this has a uh, maple fretboard, two BC Rich brand humbuckers. It's a string through body, hardtail. You've got a three-way switch, volume, and a tone, and uh, maple neck. The body is uh, base wood, and then it's got a uh, bolt-on neck. The uh, jack is on the back here. And uh, one thing that's kind of unique about this guitar is the fretboard scale is uh, 24 and 3 quarter, which is kind of like what you would find on a Les Paul, only this has 24 frets, and there are not very many guitars with 24 frets have that fretboard scale. Most things, Jackson's, Ibanez, uh, etc., have the 25 and a half, you know, kind of known as a Fender scale. So anyway, it's kind of unique. But uh, anyway, it's a badass guitar, so uh, let's check out some of the sounds. Okay, so I'm not even going to bother showing you what this guitar sounds like without distortion. I don't think anybody cares really about the clean tones of this guitar. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to play any Dave Matthews or anything with it. Uh, I'm plugged into my Behringer V-Amp, which is uh, set up for an Engel Powerball uh, modeler setting, and then those are plugged into my uh, my cabs, my 4 by 12 cabs here. So anyway, uh, this is the bridge pickup. Let's check it out. stand up with this guitar, uh, the neck has a tendency to drop down a little bit, so it wants to go like this. Um, that's just because of where the strap button is on the back here. There's nothing that extends out very far in the guitar to put the strap button on, so it's kind of far in, and what that does is it just makes the neck go down a little bit. So if you want to hold it up like this, you know, if you want to get the, the slash stance, whatever you want to call it, you do have to kind of hold the neck up with your hand. Um, other than that, though, it's pretty comfortable. When you're sitting down, it's great. Uh, it uh, kind of tilts the neck up, puts your hand in a really good position, that kind of stuff. And um, other than that, the body is pretty light. 
It was a lot lighter and a lot smaller than I expected when I got it. So, um, you know, it's it's comfortable. It'd be good to play for a long time live, that kind of thing. Won't time Another out. thing about this guitar is the uh, pickups. The stock BC Rich pickups are sort of scooped pickups, meaning they don't have a lot of mid-range to them, which is great if you're playing uh, metal, of course, but um, for some of the lead work, you know, not having any mid-range can get a little bit, uh, a little thin sounding. So you might want to consider changing the pickups if you don't like them. I think they're just kind of so-so the way they are now, but if I was going to do any uh, gigging or recording any lead parts with this guitar, I would probably think about changing the pickups. Anyway, um, uh, I'll do a little more shredding and then we'll, uh, we'll get out of here. <laughs> That's the BC Rich Ironbird. Uh, check it out. It's yet another badass metal guitar. And um, rock out.